Patrick's Day. So every St. Patrick's Day, I always make corned beef, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and Irish soda bread. So I thought I'd record showing you how I make my Irish soda bread. But this time I'm gonna make it a little different. Usually I form it into loaves and then cook them on a cookie sheet. But this time I'm gonna follow one of the recipes that says to put it in a cake pan. So I'm gonna put it into a shaped silicone cake pan that I have and see how that turns out since I've got nothing to lose. So this recipe calls for four cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of buttermilk, one teaspoon of baking soda, three eggs at room temperature, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, three-fourths cup sugar, and one and a half cups of raisins. I only had a cup of raisins and there's none at the store, so we're gonna have to make do. This recipe calls for one and a half cups of room temperature buttermilk, but things are kind of hard to come by in the grocery stores lately. So I usually make my own anyways because I never buy it. It always goes to waste. So what I do is I get my one and a half cups of buttermilk, I mean of regular milk, and I take a lemon And I have a juicer here, a hand juicer. Put it in, squeeze it into there. And then stir it a little. And then while I'm getting the rest of my things together and mixing the other stuff together, that just sits and it turns into buttermilk do is mix up all of our dry ingredients. So it's the four cups of flour, three-fourths cup sugar, the one teaspoon of salt and baking powder, and the one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to take this over to my mixer and mix it all up. Next I'm going to mix my wet ingredients. So I'm going to take my homemade buttermilk, nice and chunky now. <laughs> I'm going to take my eggs, mix those together, and then I will slowly add it to my dry mix. So I've got my dry mix in there. It's already mixed up, but I'm going to start it on very low and mix in the raisins first. Now that the raisins are mixed in, I'm gonna slowly add in my milk and eggs. I don't wanna over mix this, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And if I need any more mixing, I will do it by hand with a spatula. Before I got everything together, I started preheating my oven for 350 degrees. This needs just a tiny bit more of a mix. And then I will put it into this rose-shaped silicone cake mold. So I buttered this pan with a brush, just in case. Nothing really sticks to it. I've never had any problems. But this is a very dense, sticky dough. I've never done it in a cake pan before. I've always made little loaves. I've laid it out on the counter with some flour, but I thought I'd give this a try. And yes, my hands have been washed many, many times. So while I was getting all of my stuff together, I preheated my oven for 350 degrees. Now I've spread out the dough with a spoon to make it get in all the little spaces. So now I'm gonna put it into the oven till the top is brown and it's risen for 45 minutes to one hour. So this baked for 45 minutes exactly and it's nice and firm. So I'm going to unmold it. Ignore the dog. He sees a bird outside. So that's really pretty, but it's gonna be awkward to cut. So it's gonna stay this way. And then we'll cut it up and 
serve it warm with some butter on it and we're good. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to try this recipe, I'll leave the link to the recipe down in the description. Let me know if you try this out and if you liked it. Uh, give this a like and subscribe to my page if you'd like to see more videos from me. Thanks again. Bye.